Here we see my Ford rail motor, which was kit bashed from an Andel coach uh, with my own chassis. Uh, it's controlled by a Deltang RX61B uh, receiver controller, uh, which in turn is bound to my TX20 transmitter. Um, it works in the usual way. If I, I'll lift it up so it doesn't go shooting off. If I turn the knob, you can hear the motor going. It also has direction lighting, so that when it's going forward, the lights come on at the front. Uh, I'm also controlling a, a sound card, uh, my own sort of lash up. Uh, and also, um, it has interior lighting, which at the moment is controlled by pressing this button here. Uh, press it again and it goes off, press it again it comes on. But I want to change it so that it comes on when I press the bind button. So at the moment if I press the bind button nothing happens. Okay, so how do I go about reprogramming the chip? Well actually with a TX20 it's quite straightforward. The first job is to download or look on the Deltang website and get the the right settings that you need on the chart. In this case it's menu 3 and I want it to be latching so that when I press the bind button the lights come on, stay on until I press the bind button again. Um, because the bind button is on channel 5 I need it on channel 5 the output from the receiver is on pad 7 and I want it to come on and off when the bind button is pressed so that sends the channel low, sends it down to 0 volt. So what that gives me is the following code 3 for menu 3, 7 for pad 7, 2 because I want it latching, 5 because it's channel 5 that I'm using, and 1 to be low, to go on and off when the channel is low. So how do I go about reprogramming? Uh, turn off the transmitter, turn off the receiver, and now I turn on the transmitter again, and this time I hold down these two buttons, that's channel 2 and channel 4, on the transmitter while I turn on the receiver. Uh, I don't know, hopefully you can see that when I did that the LED on the receiver flashed rapidly and it's now flashing one every second with a two second pause. Now that one represents the first column of the chart so it's at the moment uh, looking at menu 1. I want it to be menu 3. So if I move the direction switch this way it now flashes 2. Just see if you can see that. don't know if you can see that, so it's now flashing twice. Do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three is flashing three times. So that's what I want. So I now move the direction switch the other way to see I've accepted that. Now we're working on column two down the chart. Now I want that to be seven for pad seven. So at the moment it's flashing 1, so go that way to advance it, it's now flashing 2, again it's flashing 3, again it's flashing 4, again it's flashing 5, again it's flashing 6, 
six, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's what I want, so I now turn the direction switch the opposite way to accept that. Now the next thing I want is for the next column to be two. Now actually it's already two, so all I do is accept that. The next column I want to be flashing five. One, two, three, four. Well it was on channel four before, now I want it to be channel five. So I move it that way to advance it to five. Just check one, two, three, four, five. It's now flashing five, so I accept that. And now I want it latching, it's already flashing one. So if I move the direction switch this way to accept one, it goes off and now comes on solid. So now, hopefully, if I've programmed it properly, the lights will come on when I press this button. Yeah, so it's now the lighting comes on when I press the bind button. So I have successfully reprogrammed my RX-61.